and welcome to another Python 3.7 tutorial. My name's Tom with Masquerade Online. In today's tutorial, we're going to go ahead and uh, discuss some of the command line commands that we'll be using when we use uh, when we learn Python. Now, when I'm talking about Pyth uh, command lines, I'm referring to Python commands with inside our uh, terminal or command prompt. So, basically, how do we fire up the Python interpreter, and how do we do a couple other things in Python? The next tutorial will actually talk about Unix commands and then following that we'll talk about command prompt commands. All right, so let's get started. First and most important thing is when we're going through this tutorial series, we're going to be accessing the Python interpreter directly and running um, code through it. So how do we access that? So uh, in most cases it's going to be Python or Python 3. So Let's take a look at some examples here. First off, if I type Python in, this is going to invoke an interpreter. What interpreter? Well, it depends what version and what your paths are on your operating system here. So my, if I type Python and hit return, I'm going to get Python 2.7. We're not learning Python 2.7 because Python 2.7 is on the way out the door. All right. So in this case, I have two versions of Python installed on my computer, and the reason for that is because I still have some clients that use Python 2.7. So I gotta have access to both of them. So if I back out of here by pressing Control D, not Control C, um, we'll go ahead and do Python 3. All right. Now Python 3 is gonna bring up Python 3.7. That's what we're learning here, folks. So take a mental note of how you access the Python 3 interpreter. All right, because that's what we're going to use throughout this tutorial series. So in my case, it's Python 3. All right, so I'm going to press Control D again to get back out of this. So that's how I invoke the Python interpreter. And you guys will learn how this all works as we move through the tutorials. I just want you guys to make mental note of some of the commands we have available to us. So when you guys see me do something, you guys are understanding what's going on. Uh, the next thing I would like to discuss is how do we run a Python script or a Python file? All right, so it's the same way we invoke the interpreter. So in my case, I'm going to use Python 3, and then I'm going to call the Python file name. So let's just say it's script.py. Now, I don't have an actual script set up. I should have probably set one up before we started this tutorial, but I'm sorry, I do not. So if I run Python 3 script.py, that's going to run the Python file through the interpreter. And as I said before, the code goes through the interpreter down to the low-level C language, computes whatever we need to compute it and then sent back to us in the method that we're asking for. Do we want to return it in, in the terminal or do we are we run some kind of GUI? Uh, I don't know. Are we computing something? Whatever it may be, whatever we write in the script. So that's how it works. So basically we would type Python 3, the file name, and hit uh, return or enter, whatever you want to call it, and it will process that file for us. So that's how we call um, files, and you'll see this as we work through the tutorial series. Uh, the next thing um, that you may or may not ever use is the Python command line help. Now, there's three ways to invoke this, and this is helpful if you're um, if you get lost or you forget a command. So the three ways to uh, invoke this is going to be Python. For me is python 3 could be python for you and then hyphen question mark this is going to bring up the help page and as you can see it has a bunch of the um, command line commands here for instance uh, hyphen b issue a warning about string bytes instances and byte array instances whatever command so if you throw a command in there that's what it's going to operate and basically this is a good way to remember those commands all right another way to call this i'm going to clear my screen using command k is python hyphen h going to bring up the same exact um, uh, screen we just saw so let's go ahead and hit command k one more time and then we're going to do python dash dash help and it's going to bring up the same thing so three separate commands bring us to the same window okay um so that's how we get to the command line help window through the terminal. Um, how about uh, someone ask you what version of Python you're using? How are you going to figure that out? Well, I can do uh, Python dash uh, capital V, and that's going to give me Python 2.7.10. So my Python 
invocation is without the three is going to invoke Python 2.7.10. Or we can do Python dash dash version like that. It's going to give me the same thing. Same thing goes for Python 3 dash V capital is Python 3.7 and then Python 3 dash dash version is going to give me Python 3.70. Um, all right, so there we go. Uh, next thing is uh, how do we exit the uh, Python interpreter? So we do Python 3, all right? So I'm inside the Python interpreter now. How do we exit this? Now, Python gives us three options to exit. First one's going to be uh, we type out quit with uh, parentheses that exit 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 us. <laughs> Woo. Uh, if you press up, you're going to get your previous command. So you'll see me do that quite often. So I want to bring Python three back up. I want to invoke Python again. Um, if I do exit with parentheses, that's also going to exit the interpreter. How about if I press up one more time? And the last one's going to be Control D. And that's going to exit us from that. Um, so that's our basic Python commands that we'll be using um, throughout the tutorial series. If you have any questions, please let us know at mastercode.online. Otherwise, we'll see you in the next tutorial.